judge your mama don't judge me i'm telling you right now because we all probably be about thinking the same but i'm just gonna be the one to see it it's hard being that girl everybody wants the attention from me and you got me spreading myself thin because everybody wants some of this attention in this time and i'm spreading myself thin because i can't be going welcome back to the start of a new vlog if this is your first time here i am meek lachey make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can come back and vibe and if you're returning thank you i appreciate you happy sunday fun day y'all today is february the 25th it's currently 10 47 a.m and we're about to enjoy our day it's a beautiful day outside i done got up did my morning routine y'all already know the morning routine of get up pray meditate journal clean up and i to cook my son something to eat so i don't have to worry about him for the rest of the day because we are going to new orleans we are going over to new orleans taking a little road trip going to hang out on this beautiful blessed sunday and yeah so i basically just want to open this vlog up i'm gonna take y'all to the mirror and show y'all what i got on i already wore this probably about a year ago on the vlog but like i told y'all we, we is it a rule that we can't repeat outfits or something? Because, yeah, we won't spend money to keep it in the closet and not wear it again. So, let's go to the mirror, show y'all what we got on, and then let's get out the door. Because y'all know your girl is always running behind. But I'm actually doing good timing today. I'm on good timing, but let's go. Okay, this is the look for today. The whole outfit is from h and I got this shirt tied up in the back. You can tie it in the front or the back, but it's somewhat like a crop top and then i have on these they like slack linen i don't know what to call them pants and just some brown slides and uh, lv earrings jbw watch and this is the look for today <laughs> restaurant tomorrow because i'm too tired i'm ready to take me a shower and get in the bed and yeah relax i am tired it's late and i'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow i'm gonna tell y'all how today went tomorrow good morning happy monday y'all monday ain't going like it usually go Mondays usually be like I be super excited about Mondays. I like to get up and be productive, you know, the start of a new week. I try to reset on Sunday and then on Monday I try to execute the plan and just start off being productive. But being that this weekend kinda like baby, I think I try to take myself out. My body was saying, ma'am, is you trying to send us to the upper room? Cause what? But, um, yeah, so today I'm dragging. I didn't, I, I wasn't being productive today. I was not. I'm finna put some hamburgers on the grill. And I got the food. Like, I made some baked beans and pasta salad. And then Junior will probably eat fries with his hamburgers. But I had a taste for some hamburgers and wings. So I'm gonna make wings, hot wings and hamburgers today. But anyways enough of all that besides that we ain't really got 
We ain't got no motion going on. We ain't got nothing going on right now. So, I told y'all I was going to tell y'all about the restaurant. Morals? 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 Um, morals in New Orleans. And how many times did I say that? I said it a lot of times, didn't it? I don't think the liquor is, I don't think it wore off yet. I think it's still lingering. But, okay, so the restaurant, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Maybe, okay, let's see. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. A lot of people on TikTok was talking about that restaurant. I had like several different restaurants I've been like executing, going to in New Orleans. And... I'm going to tell you, out of Nice Guys, Mondays, Immorals, it's, I'm going to say, nice, I like Nice Guys vibe. Do I want to put Nice Guys at number one? I'm going to say Nice Guys, for me, is number one. Then number two will be Mondays. And then Morals will be number three. But, okay, the one thing that I'm going to not give it, like, a 10 on is the fact that I made you can't make re same day reservations or whatever the case is so on our way there I booked the reservations why y'all got it available if you can't do it so I booked the reservations for us to go there because I was still debating it's a one more restaurant I want to try well probably more than that but one more most definitely that I want to try and so I end up picking that one because the other restaurant didn't have no openings and so um made reservations to get there and she like well did you book today because you can't book the same day or whatever and i'm like but she was like well if you want to wait it'll be about 45 minutes or whatever so okay that for one took a strike down because i don't like to wait your girl do not like to wait i'm not good at waiting that's how i know i'm, I'm meant to be rich because wait no baby just, just, let me skip the line i started to say you want forty dollars? You want forty dollars? You need forty dollars? Cause if you could skip me in this line, baby, I give you forty dollars. So, anyways, that skipped that ahead. Then, okay, it didn't take too long for the food to come out. I had barbecue shrimp. Fran had gumbo. I love the barbecue shrimp. It's very messy. I was wondering why she put like a pile of paper towels on there. But they leave the shells on the um barbecue shrimp. So, and then, of course, you know, it's sauce and stuff. So, trying to peel the shrimp and you got all this sauce all over your hand. It was messy. But it tasted good. It was flavorful. And then the gumbo. I liked the gumbo. He didn't really care for the gumbo because I'm used to New Orleans style. Um, I stayed in Gulfport, Mississippi, and a lot of, they do their gumbo the same way, too. Like, here in Florida, like, people, when they make their gumbo, they do, like, all this. Because I even do it, too, because I like it both ways. Put, like, like a lot of okra and different stuff in it. They gumbo in New Orleans be more so, like, based on the roux. And you have, like, a little stuff in it. We load ours up with, like, all kind of stuff, right? So, that for one. And then they roux taste a little more stronger than the typical person that make it somewhere else so he ain't really he wasn't big on the gumbo and then after that he had like this uh seafood cajun pasta and um i thought it was pretty it was decent it was good and he also had red beans and rice he didn't like his red beans and rice he said the red beans and rice wasn't good um once again to me it had like that rule new orleans taste and it's hard it's like a it's hard to explain but they have like a particular taste today so they um red beans they gumbo stuff or whatever i'm cool on it because like i said i'm used to it but if you're from somewhere else and you ain't really used to that strong taste then yeah it might not be for you and then i had lamb chops and grits my lamb chops and grits was pretty good my lamb chops was kind of fatty a little bit um, they had like a little, they was kind of fatty to me. I wish they had more meat than they did fat, but the, they were seasoned good. The grits were, the grits was better there than they was at Mondays. So, yeah. I'm going to say Nice Guys was like the best. Like I, I, I murked that food at Nice Guys. But, um, anyways, uh, that was pretty, oh yeah, and I wanted like sauteed 
barbecue shrimp. I mean, it was sa saute barbecue crab claws, but they didn't have any. They was out, so I didn't get that. Um, the cocktail I had was okay. Um, it was okay, but that's my review on that. Then after we left there, oh, and our ticket, our ticket was, I want to say, cheaper there than it was at Nice Guys and Mondays. The ticket there was like 133 and... I know it was higher. I want to say it was higher at the other two places. But, <clears throat> yeah, that was pretty much what we did there. Then after we left there, we was like, it's not far from Bourbon Street. So we went down on Bourbon Street. And by that time, I was full as a tick. I was full and I didn't feel like walking. I'm like, let's just ride through. And, yeah, because I don't even want to get out and walk. So we just pretty much rolled around or whatever. I wanted the mood. I didn't want no more liquor. I wanted the mood to bar hop. I was tired. I wanted the mood. Hold on, y'all. I gotta check this grill. Okay. So yeah, I had to go get the burgers on the grill. I ain't using my. I ain't feel like being bothered with my big grill today. So I just I'm putting some burgers on the small grill. But I don't know if I said that or not yet. But anyway, so basically, yeah, I didn't feel like doing all that. I was exhausted. I didn't feel like walking around. I didn't feel like. I didn't want no more liquor. I didn't want the liquor that I had. At the beginning of the day, we started drinking at 11 something in the morning. Like, Jesus. And I really didn't, I didn't want to drink. But friend was like, nah, you, you was just turned up with your friends. Don't try to turn down now. Today, you with me, you finna turn up with me today. Like, I don't... <laughs> Y'all, it be so dang on rough. Like, I don't see how, like, people, like, you can really be spreading yourself really thin, trying to keep up with multiple people. Like, spreading yourself thin, having to keep up with multiple relationships, friendships, whatever. Because, I don't see how, oh, chai, chai. Because what happens is... You end up spraying yourself thin because you're trying to give everybody enough time equally because you don't want nobody to feel like, oh, you did this with them or you was just out the other night. I want that same attention. You know what I'm saying? So you will find yourself trying to give everybody some attention and some time and exhausting yourself out because... Yeah, I was exhausted, baby. I can't. <laughs> I was tired, man. Like, even down to, like, friendships. Like, if you go somewhere with one friend, uh, a group of friends, and then, like, your other friends call and, like, you want to go do such and such and such and such. And you know you just posted that you was just hanging out with other friends. And then you really don't want to go. But then you can't really say, um... Yeah, I don't want to go because then they're going to be looking at you like, oh, well, you did that with them. You can't do that with me. Like, well, you were just with them. You must not want to be around me. Or even with, like, talk to, to multiple people. Like, when you be talking to multiple people or dating multiple people, like, the whole dating thing, having to spend some time with this man and this man and this man and this. Like, it's hard dating multiple people. I know. I know. I did it. I've done it. And it be hard because you be trying to go see this one, hang out with this one. And then you trying to give a little time and you, you try. Because uh, it's hard being that girl. Everybody wants the attention from me. And you got me spreading myself thin. Because everybody wants some of this attention and this time. And I'm spreading myself thin because I can't be going. I can't be dating all y'all. I can't be going on five dates a week. I'm tired. I'm old. Anyways. Well, I feel like I'm telling on myself a little bit. <laughs> play up. Play up. Play up. But anyways. Oh. <laughs> just playing. I'm going to get in trouble for that one. But. I'm going to do these hamburgers. And I'm going to relax. Because I don't think I'm going to be hanging out with y'all today. Because I'm still trying to recoup from the weekend. I got to shake back. So we can be productive. I got to shake back. And I don't want no alcohol. 
No time soon. No. No alcohol for about child to the weekend to to somebody need some time. And then I gotta go with some I ain't gotta and that be the thing. Like I ain't gotta drink. But the people that I be around be like shots, shot, 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 shots. I need a better I need some better people in my life because the people that I be around, they bad influences. They don't care nothing about their health, apparently. That's crazy. Why you don't care nothing about your health? Why you wanna be shots, shot, 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 shots? All the time. Uh smoke, 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 smoke. No, no, no. Do y'all like y'all hot dogs and sausage with like a little burntness on it? I like mine a little burnt. Don't give me no not burnt hot dog or sausage, and I mean that. I feel like that one right there. Mm-hmm. That one. It's almost there. First of all, how did these hot dogs and sausage get on the grill when we were just supposed to be putting hamburgers on the grill? The fire was still going. My problem is like if the fire is still going, I want to put some more stuff on the grill. I need to cut my grass because what? I mean, it ain't even grown in, though. Like, it's still patchy, but whatever that shit is, it need to be cut. And then, yeah, it ain't grown all the way in. Back there look a hot damn mess. Like, what? What is the grass? This dirt. Where's the grass? Come on, grass. Pretty outside. Like, it is such a pretty day. Like, I really want to go sit by the water on the beach. I might can do it a little later, but when I get junior from school. But yeah, I really want to go sit by the water and just clear my mind. But, or maybe even just, you know, that water too damn cold right now to be sticking my feet in and I already know. But I feel like I need some ocean in my life. Like I need some ocean waves, sounds of waves or something in my life. Anyway, so I'm sitting on the back porch and I'm done with that grill. Y'all probably can still see the smoke I ain't had nothing else to put on. Like I said, I grabbed them hot dogs and sausage out the, <laughs> out the refrigerator because it was just a little piece of it. Well, a pack of hot dogs in there and a little piece of a sausage. And I just want to put something else on there. Now I'm going to be smelling like smoke. I need to, um, I need to go. Oh, Lord, y'all see my kitchen back there? I need to go in here and take me a little quick little shower before I go get this boy from school. I don't even feel like cooking. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't even feel like cooking the um the chicken no more. The chicken wings. I'll probably be alright with just a burger. Cause I ate one hot dog with no bread or nothing. Just some hot dog and dipped it in some barbecue sauce and I'm feeling like I'm damn full. Anyways, I wanted to tell y'all about Judge your mama. Don't judge me. I'm telling you right now. Because we all probably be about thinking the same. But I'm just going to be the one to see it. Anyways, I'm going to tell y'all about these vaginal tightening pills. See them? Mm -hmm. That I got <laughs> off of Amazon, right? Let me tell y'all why I got them. Because I was going to have the um re rejuvenation um uh, procedure done. But I don't know if y'all remember I told y'all my, my doctor did did my lipo and stuff. The only surgeon I'm gonna trust like that in my life. Um that was gonna do it. He well, I don't even know if he was gonna do it. He probably somebody in his office was gonna do it. I don't know if he do it. But I was gonna get that procedure done before all this stuff. I was gonna get my boobs on and I was gonna get her tightened up. So, um, basically what they do with the rejuvenation tightening thing they go in and they tighten your walls up or whatever make that thing like a virgin again <laughs> but anyways that happened and i don't know if i'm gonna trust anybody else to do it so i seen these pills and they had good reviews they were saying like they work like i seen a lot of girls saying yeah my husband said he could tell the difference it felt like a it felt like a virgin you know whatever the case is and yeah because not saying that like I'm losing them, but what happens is when you start getting older, it feels like 
you know what I'm saying? You can't work them muscles like you, you know, that little tiny thing we be hitting them with. It's just like they don't be working the same no more. And then on top of that, if you dealing with, say, if you been dealing with somebody that's larger or not just average, you know what I'm saying? Like, because it's a whole bunch of uh, below average. I ain't going to say a whole bunch. I don't know about a whole bunch because I ain't had a whole bunch. But, um... It's, it's quite a few below averages out there so when you met when you did go and have like um get your words out you go and have a larger you dealing with a larger person and then like say you y'all don't work out and you move on and you go to a smaller person and you used to having a larger person now that 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 larger person gonna probably be like god dang girl ripper but then you go deal with that smaller person he gonna be like loose is a goose big cat yeah <laughs> that's at least what i think in my head because i have been able to tell the difference from going backwards of being in a relationship with a person with a you know what i'm saying a monster and then turn around and go with Mr. Trump man, Mr. Vaina, then you be like, God damn, I know this nigga. I know he feel like I am super loose. But it don't even be you. You be, you can't tell him like, hey, it's you. So, anyways, um, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna try these out. I'm gonna see. I don't even know how I'm gonna see because I promise y'all, I'm not even like, I'm not that person. I'm not even a uh, a active person y'all gonna ask friend <laughs> i'm not an active person baby you're not gonna wear me out no no mm -mm. i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna keep doing it it's probably I, I gotta get better in that area but i'm not like a person that like to mm -mm. so i already know that ain't the reason why because i don't even do that enough to even I'm a once, twice a month type of girl. Cause no. You say that for your husband. You let your husband wear you out. You don't let no friend wear you out or no No. And Lord knows I don't I don't mess with nobody else, so but I just feel like that thing need to tighten up. In case I, you know, decide to in case you know something smaller come about. I don't I don't wanna be feeling like yeah mm -mm. so yeah i got these to try and i'm gonna let y'all know i don't know how i'm gonna let y'all know because i'm standing on business ain't nobody getting under this not even him he ain't even getting it don't get it good morning good morning y'all it's a whole day it's tuesday and yeah we're gonna get out productive week started because Y'all know yesterday it was man down on Monday. So it is currently, I think, 6 a.m. It's probably 6 a.m. now. I got up at like 4.20 this morning because I went to sleep so dang on early that I was up. I actually got up at like 11 something last night. It felt like it was like maybe like... I was thinking it was at least like 3 o'clock in the morning. It was only like 11 something. I think I went to bed around like close to 8 o'clock maybe. No, probably about 7.34. I think that was the last time me and somebody was texting at like 7.34. But and then on top of that, why I went to sleep with my garage up, the door to come inside the house unlocked, and my purse sitting on the front seat of my car on the passenger side with the doors unlocked. Thank God for a good community and protection because girl, you just been like trying to trying to take yourself out with the alcohol. Then you're gonna let somebody come inside your house and take you in your child out. Dummy. But usually my neighbors, um, well, not really my, they not next to me, but they like across the sh 
street on the other street they can see my house from my um if they sit out in their garage and it's been times that it started getting dark and they'll come over here and be like tamika your garage up it's getting dark that's unlike you you're gonna lay it down so but um they must have went in the house early too but um anyways i'm up and i've got up and cleaned up and everything and you know my morning routine trying to get back into the swing of the week and now i'm about to go work out well i'm gonna go to the, I'm, I'm debating if i want to go to the track up the street or if i just want to go around the neighborhood i sort of feel like i want to just go around the neighborhood because i don't feel like getting in the car driving to the track but then again i also want to go get me a celsius so and it's close the gas station by the track so i might get to the track instead but yeah i'm ready to work out and my stomach feels so bloated like i guess from the alcohol and the food and all that from the weekend i'm so ready to just get back i'm ready to cleanse myself so ready to cleanse myself so yeah that's pretty much all i've been doing this morning i was trying to catch up on the vlogs that i missed yesterday i was watching rochelle um this morning i'm actually still watching her right now i was watching rochelle and she was talking about therapy and i've been thinking i'm like maybe i should i think i need to see a therapist like i feel like i'm traumatized from past relationships that it affect my current relationships that i'm instantly not thinking of a man is like full of shit i'm instantly feeling like what you want like you you finna be on the bullshit instead of like giving them the benefit of the doubt which to me a lot of, i feel like I, what do i feel like i feel like niggas ain't shit i feel like <laughs> that's horrible to say and that's why i need to see a therapist i feel like all men cheat i feel like all men cheat i don't know no men that don't cheat uh haven't cheated and that's bad like i literally don't know now man in my city in my city in other cities that i lived in that ain't cheating or cheated like not one that's sad that's sad so I feel like I'm traumatized <sighs> and I need help because I want to love and I want to I want to trust but baby I'm traumatized <laughs> traumatized I need help and I, it's this guy that likes me and a lot of people are like oh he seemed like a good guy blah 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 but and he'll do anything for me like he be i ain't never had no kind of relations with this man and like for the last however many years he's been buying me gifts on every every holiday he checks on me like he just he's really 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 a nice person but um well for one he knew my ex i don't play them type of games like if y'all kiki ka ka ha 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 in the face <clears throat> i ain't trying to like that's like it's one thing if y'all just like yo what's up you know what i'm saying and keep moving but if y'all kiki ka ka and got each other phone number even if y'all don't hang out if y'all got each other phone number i don't really <laughs> and um and then also from my ex like the whole love bombing thing how like a person come in with the gifts and acting all like this and that and sweet and this this that and the third it kind of be making me feel like is you trying to love bomb me and then once you get with me then you're going to take on them other traits that you know those people have y'all know what i mean when i say love bombing and I just be like, is this really you? Is this your main character? I mean, is this really you or is this just your representative? 
But I mean, I don't even think that far into it. Like that's a thought in my mind sometimes. People be like, oh, you should give him a try. But the main problem, like I said, is, you know, two of my exes, two of my exes, not one, two of my exes. And it's just like, hmm. yeah, it's a little weird. But, um, and then, I mean, even down to friend, current friend, like, I feel like, for one, we got a big age difference. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying? That, but then also, it's like when we, we we dated three times over the last 10 years, but it starts off with like the whole thing of, you know, gifts and trips and da 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 da, -da and this, flowers, blah, 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 blah. let's do this, you know, all this different stuff. And then, you know, dates, you know, be ready by this time. We're going on a date and planning, oh, come over, I cooked. And then it's just like, as time go on, it's yeah well whatever you want to do okay yo we can do that oh yeah you want to write like it's like really not like a lot of thought put into it and i feel like i've told i've said before and i say to people that they like if you don't want me to change on you don't change on me because don't come in with this whole character and then you change it to a whole another person that i don't know uh, I know, but it's just kind of like, yeah, I ain't signed up for that person. I signed up for that other person, and which I know, you know, it ain't always gonna be clips and glams, and I understand it. But you need to under understand also that I changed because you changed. Where I was doing the most is because you was doing the most. But when you start doing the least, I'm start doing the least. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I just. therapy i honestly think i need therapy like even down to friendships even down to friendships i done had some traumatizing situations from some friendships people don't understand that sometimes your friendships breakups can be worse than your relationship breakups and i seen a girl saying this on tiktok because we expect men we expect men to do certain things but we don't expect our friend that we're gonna cry to win and um and told all our business to and all this different stuff to like flip on us so and then now you looking like girl i'm gonna let you out until like I, you know you tell your friends some stuff you ain't gonna talk tell your nigga girl i'm gonna talk to some stuff like we gonna share secrets not like we just like don't like each other so which me uh, -uh i ain't doing all that baby i ain't I know people that do that, but hey, your secret's still safe with me. Now, if we got a mutual friend, well, I might talk shit to that mutual friend about you because I feel like the mutual friend already know. You know what I'm saying? We already share the same secrets then. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Ain't like I'm dogging you or whatever, but I ain't gonna go tell nobody that don't know you your business. Like, even if we ain't, we ain't dealing with each other no more, I'm just not gonna do that because at one point, one point you know what i'm saying the trust was there so anyways did i just go on i went on a whole grand page let me get it just got daylight outside i really was waiting for it to get daylight outside i'm finna go move this body and i gotta get my mental together y'all gotta make some decisions So I decided to just stay in the neighborhood because they gave me more time to um, walk or walk. <laughs> I ain't really, I jogged on and off, but it wasn't nothing to brag about. I ended up doing two miles and, um, what's up, baby? You ready? Uh, what time is it? Yeah, I'm about ready. Huh? About to All right, I'm talking to my vlog. I'm ready. Got your stuff? I'm ready. Um, 
He's so handsome. But anyways, uh, I decided to just say, uh, why you keep saying, oh, in the neighborhood. So I can, um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I need to start over because, um, and, uh, it's just it's really getting to me. But as I was walking around the neighborhood, I was looking at, like, people had their houses for sale. It was two people got their houses for sale. And I had been seeing some more people sold their house or whatever. And then a person had their house for rent. Now, to me, like, the people that sell in their house, they've been there since we built these houses so you got your house at like a really good price so what you're paying we can sell these houses for double the amount we paid for them right now with the way the market is so you mean to tell me but i don't know they they circumstances i know the one no they not in the military the one girl that's renting her house she in the military so it makes sense but the other people they're not um I don't remember them being military so are you moving out the state or are you going to buy a house for what you finna sell your house for for the same square footage because that's pretty much how it's going because although we can sell our houses for double the amount that we paid for them and it's pretty much like you stayed in your house for the last seven years because we've been here like seven years I want to say seven eight years it's probably about eight years. Was it 2016? I think it might have been 2016. Anyways, you can pretty you pretty much stay in your house for free. But when you go to sell your house, you gotta go purchase a house the same size or smaller for the amount that you just sold your house for. It ain't making sense to me. Now, in the sense of renting your house out and even if you still got a mortgage on your house, you're paying your mortgage and what you rent it out for, you're getting the amount, like you're getting some extra money. You can probably rent it out like double the amount of your mortgage. So even if you move somewhere else where you went and rent it somewhere else, you, whatever the case is, it's kind of like, it's, I guess, offsetting your throwing kind of panning out to a sense of what you paying monthly but to me personally because i'm what i'm gonna do like pay the house off keep it use it as a rental property now you got a house you got an investment house you have a if you have children in my in my sense mine is like hey this is my son house at this point so and then my house that i'm gonna build um will be my house but i mean it really and then i don't know people financial issues maybe they selling their house because they can't afford it but like i said you're gonna go move somewhere else and pay more it's just right now with the way the market is it doesn't make sense to me to sell a house that you paid like the market was good in 2016-17 the market was great unless now you're getting you now like getting married or y'all decide to sell your houses and go buy a house together or whatever the case is but i don't know anyways i don't know why i felt the need to talk to y'all about that but i was just thinking about that i was like yeah selling my house is not an option although i can sell it for double the price I'm going to spend that amount on the same size house with the way the market is, if not actually more, probably more like the market is compared to 2016, 17, the market is trash. Then the interest rate, you're not going to get the same good interest rate that you got back then. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now taking my time building a house, like, even land right now. If you purchase land back before the market got crazy, that's fine. But buying land right now is stupid. Um, but just taking my time building a house and not rushing it. Just taking my time, like contracting out, getting people to build different, do different phases of it, and not going through a, a company, so to say, to build a house. 
or whatever just you know you got this person laying the foundation this person doing this clearing the land this person put doing the roof like you know your people that they, they don't be want to come over here to do it for the law and then yeah then you good you got a good lick on the, the uh building materials and all that stuff you good then you can get a little more bang for your book but yeah anyways i'm gonna take this boy to school because y'all know he came out here like is you ready to go i end up um i think i'm also wanting to go to the beach and actually walk down the beach because you know it's horrible it's hard to walk in sand it's so hard to walk in sand I feel like it, it tires you out. It really get the muscles going in them legs, baby. Because, I don't know, though. The sun went down. Maybe. Okay. But anyways, he coming. I'll be back. So, I done took Junk to school. And I'm in my backyard now. And I'm thinking I want to, like, cut this grass. Although the grass ain't grew up. Like, around my porch area. I don't like the way it look. And then, like, around my fence. I don't like the way it look so I'm just gonna I don't know if I need to get the weed eater and just do it with that cuz I don't know but yeah I gotta handle this because y'all know I don't want it to get oh it's bees out here the bees are coming out that's how you know it's finna get hot or getting hot but I like to keep it low cuz you know I, um snakes keep the grass low because snakes and yeah I'm gonna try to just keep it intact because I will let it get too high to the point where I don't want to come back here and do it because I'll be scared and then I gotta ask my neighbor to do it. So I'm gonna go and tackle it right now. And then I might go to the beach after that. I don't know. fence but this shit right here this shit right here that that she got leaning up against the fence from the other side that keep growing over on my side of the damn fence it's pissing me the fuck off like i'm tempted to goddamn knock that shit over bitch put that shit on the back side put that shit on the back side why the fuck you got it on this side of the fence i paid for this fence put that shit back over there on the other side but don't nobody live at home i don't want that shit growing all over my goddamn fence hot mess but i just came to tell y'all i'm finna try to get a chair or a letter or something and show y'all over the fence into the neighbor's yard when i tell you that that hoe's so nasty she a white older lady and her husband anyways she's so nasty you can tell like renters they don't take care of your stuff i think the girl she was in the military and she ran her house out to them and renters don't take care of your stuff some pe some mom do but when I tell y'all they got that girl back yard so nasty and junky, the whole neck, like I said, she got that damn shit growing over the fence. She done put all this bullshit in the backyard, baby. I don't want that. My shit clear. Clear. I don't like clutter and junk. Don't have you got that shit growing all over the fence. I don't get that. And every chance I get, I cut it. I cut it whole. Mm-mm. I don't like that. But I'm finna get a letter and show y'all um oh, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna get a chill something. I'm finna try to show y'all over there. That whole nasty. Nasty oh, damn childish. Look, I don't went and got the letter. <laughs> Yo, I'm tired. That you're gonna wall me out when I tell y'all raking leaves. It's a good ass workout. It's a good workout. <clears throat> and all it did have for the yard. Not even half for the yard. Because by the time I put the leaves inside of the yard trash thingy, recycling bin, whatever it's called, it was filled to the top. So 
Yeah. Plus, I was tired. I done took me a bath now, and I don't know what Junior gonna eat for dinner today. I'm gonna try to convince him to get some wings, stop a pizza or something. Cause I don't even feel like cooking. I don't even feel like cooking. Not at this second. Maybe once I get my wind back up. My arms, I know they're going to be hurting so bad tomorrow. My legs are already hurting. Between working out this morning, jogging and walking this morning, and then going out there in the yard. Yeah. Feeling a little strong right now. Slash weak. But, yeah, um... Yeah, no beach. Don't seem like it's gonna be no beach. Plus, it's not like it's sunny. It's just la. It's a a good temperature, but the sun ain't really out. It's peeping in and out. Anyways, I'm just gonna relax and watch some TV. I need to go in my office and see if I got some bills I need to be paying. Yo, I'm tired. And Mr. Man said he didn't want no. Wing stop or no pizza. So I gotta run up here and get the stuff for him to make some chicken bacon ranch subs. That's what he wanted. And plus I need to get him some old snacks for school because he ran out this morning. And it sounds like I'm talking about a six year old. I'm talking about a 16 year old. He don't like to eat school food. Most kids don't. So he like to take his snacks to school with him. And then plus on top of that, I feel like he be using my money to make money. He be selling the snacks because he be managing to come home with money. So I, so I guess he using my money to make money, but I ain't gonna trip on him like, you got my blood. You got, you got my blood. So I'm gonna run up here and do this, get his stuff, and I'm tired. I am tired. Like, I wanna be on the island, get my back and booty and feet and everything rubbed on. I was gonna say sipping on a cocktail, but I don't even want to sip on no cocktail. The thought of alcohol right now is just make me want to puke. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna run up here and do this, and then I gotta figure out if I'm gonna go to the nursing home after this and go see Uncle Daryl. Yeah. Then I started editing the vlog. I did start editing this vlog because I'm trying to see. I feel like I've been talking a whole, whole lot to y'all here lately. So, I might be needing to end this vlog soon. But we'll see when I get back home and I finish editing. And yeah, I'm going to be back with y'all. Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, February the 29th. And as you can see, I'm at the salon. I ain't come back the other night because I ain't do nothing what tuesday night was the last time i seen y'all i ain't do nothing else for the rest of the evening yesterday your girl was booked and busy thank god and today will be another day at the salon all day and why did i decide to take a detox last night i took some detox pills i can't remember the name on but judy and um super i think it's day friend they was promoting them and i bought, bought them like almost a year ago and I felt like I was just so bloated from the weekend of drinking and eating and X, Y, Z that I decided to detox last night. And that was not a good idea because, ma'am, you got to be at work all day. A shitty mess. I tell y'all, my stomach been falling apart all morning. Oh, I ain't got no earrings on. TMI. But um, hopefully it's about to round itself up because I ain't got time to keep stopping and starting try but anyways i did edit this vlog and once i edited it i had two things i wanted to address from earlier in the vlog one was when i said that i i don't know how i said it but i said something as to the fact of friend was too young or something about our age different and difference in us not being together or whatever in a relationship let me clear that up he is he's not immature he's pretty much he's on this shit and that's the reason why i have dealt with him on and off for 10 years so i'm not saying he's incapable of, capable of being my man or anything like that i just know it's a big age difference he is 
10 years younger than me. He's 30, I'm about to be 40. And I feel like my mindset at 30, shoot, my mindset from 18 to 25, I thought I just need to be in a relationship so bad and I want to be a wife and I want to be all this different stuff, young and crazy. And then once I got 30, I looked back and I was like, what was I wasting all my years trying to be Miss Perfect Wife and I should have been enjoying life. And then once I got to 40, well, now that I'm almost 40, my mindset from the things I did when I was 30 is totally different. So I feel like I wouldn't want to deprive him of enjoying his life and coming at him with like, oh, it's time for us to be in a relationship. We need, you, be, be, you need to be my man. Da, 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 da. No, like I wouldn't do that. I want him to fully. And that's why we've been on and off over the years because I'd be like, okay, go enjoy your life some, sir. And then I'll be in the mood of, oh, yeah, I'm going to settle down. But, child, that's, I want to clear that up because he, he's capable. I ain't saying he don't want to be in a relationship. And then on top of that, he has no kids. He has no kids. And we make jokes about having a baby and this, that, and the third. But I'm about to be 40 years old, and I'm not trying to be 51 with a 10-year-old. And then I got a 16-year-old. Like, these ads going to probably be powdered in a minute. If they ain't used. But yeah, that's pretty much I want to say something about that. I won't I'm not trying to deprive him of his life and even though Sir act like an old man, he don't really he act like an old man. And fact of the matter is, I ain't naive either. Like <clears throat> I know he got girls. I'm not crazy. He he don't let me see he got girls. He's very respectful, but I ain't crazy. You know, women know. We know. So then the other thing I wanted to clear up was also the part when I said, all oh, men cheat. I don't know nobody that don't cheat. Everybody cheat. I don't know everybody, so I can't speak for all men. I can't speak for all men, so I don't want to offend nobody. And I'm like, what's she, what's she trying to say? My man cheating? You know whether your man cheating or not. You don't need me to say it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I ain't trying to offend nobody with saying, I don't know nobody around here that don't cheat. But yeah, so let's be clear about that. My bad. Sometimes your girl just be unfiltered and say stuff and y'all got to work with me. Please just work with me. Sometimes I don't realize I might be triggering somebody. And yeah, I apologize. I'm going to do better. Because for some re whatever reason, I'm feeling like I want to be a soft girl. And I want to just be like, I be watching different people. And I'm like, oh, my God. I just want to be all like, yeah. And today on this episode of this vlog, we're going to just, you know, just chill out and vibe. I got to learn how to dang on bite my tongue and mind my business sometimes. Because sometimes, girl, you be getting them people business. Get out. My mama cursed me with that. I, will, I, I do be minding my business, but you ain't got to say everything you be thinking, Tamika. You don't have to say everything you be thinking. Like, zip it. Anyways, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I do got some new subscribers. Thank you. Come on, y'all. Let's push it. Let's push it. Let's get up there. Let's get monetized. Let's get it up. Anyways, I'm so excited. I'm so happy today. I'm in such a good mood. Anyways, everybody else should be coming in shortly. Let me clean up this salon some, spray down and everything. And I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm going to see y'all on the next vlog. Bye-bye.